welcome back to my shop, Rob from Woodley Summer Club here. Today I've uh, got a piece of maple burl that I've been inspired to make something like Cindy Drozda made a couple of weeks ago. So I'm just getting my lathe ready, putting the easy wood chuck on, and putting the set screws in the spindle adapter. I'm going to use the wormwood screw. This is a double sided one. I'm going to use the 3 8 side and use the zoom ring to put that in place. And then tighten that up with the chuck key. I'm going to drill a 3 8 hole in the bark side of this burl and then mount it on the chuck as this is going to be a live edge piece. Tighten that up, make sure it's stable and then slowly start turning it with my Ellsworth bowl gouge. Here I've sped up the video a little bit. working my way around to get a nice rounded shape. Sharp tools are definitely required when turning anything really. Making sure there's good downward pressure on the tool on the tool rest. I'm losing a little bit of focus here as well with the, with the video camera. Riding that bevel around. A little bit of shear scraping just to clean it up a little bit. And then I'll sand that to 400. I've now got that turned around with a tenon mounted in the truck, starting to turn away the bark so that I can hollow it out. I'm getting some nice shavings off of this. Making sure to ride the bevel so that you don't get catches and, and things like that. I'll constantly be stopping and checking this for thickness and I'm cutting through air on the rim trying to maintain that bark checking for thickness and then if you look at the bevel the bevel has to follow the same contour as the outside so that the inside contour is somewhat the same to get an even thickness which I'm constantly checking with my fingers hoping not to make a funnel now I get my calipers out. 
a little bit more accurate. One more cut, right? think I'm happy with that. So now I've got a piece of walnut mounting between centers with the spur drive. And this will be for the stem of the uh, vessel. Using my roughing gouge to round that piece. And a diamond parting tool just to get a uh, tenon for the chuck and then the skew just to get the mortise or the tenon to the right angle and now mounting that in the chuck with the tailstock support I actually drill a hole in the end there which I didn't video but now you can see that the tailstock is actually in a hole it's a 7 mil hole that I drilled in the end which will accommodate a uh, tenon from the bowl. So now I'm just using a spindle gouge to somewhat replicate what I saw Cindy make. It's uh, by no means to her standard, but I try. Trying to go downhill with each cut, opening up the bevel as I get to the center of, of the uh, cut. Removing some material there with the roughing gouge. Back to the spindle gouge to make the shape that I'm looking for. Finding cuts to try to make it pleasing to the eye. Now the parting tool, getting it ready to part off before I sand it. Now it's been sanded to 400 and I'm parting this piece off. Now you can see that hole that I was talking about. Now I make a base to... Uh, put that into so that I can bring the tail stock up and remove the tenon down to a 7 mil spigot which will go into the hole in the base. I actually use a diamond parting tool here. using the calipers to check that. And there it is, there's a spigot that will glue into the hole in the base. 
and that is the bottom finished. That has been sprayed with lacquer prior to glue up. And thank you so much for watching.